Hey everyone, we're Tellway Couple. I'm Tom, the driver. And I'm Bunny, and I'm the final inspector. Inspections is her job this week. Yes. So you don't we, want to leave anything. Right. We have recently seen, for the past couple years, we've seen it. And when we got into this industry, thankfully we have not done this, but we learn from other people. Yes. So. One of the things that we see people leave, there's two things. One is their battery on the trailer. Mm -hmm. But the most commonly thing left by a transporter is... The license plate. The, li the transport license plate that they put on the back of the motorhome or the trailer. It's easily done. A lot of people have done it. So if you have done it or if you do do it in the future, you are not alone. Uh... <laughs> But, I mean, it's it's not a bad thing. It's just uh, distractions. It is a very big distraction, but it's awfully a costly error. It is a very costly error. Uh, some companies charge for replacement of the plate, which you have to replace two of. So, it all depends on the company. It, it could be $60. It could be $100. You don't ask your company just to make sure. But we were told when we first started, and it, we did it, we haven't had to use it, <laughs> but what do we do? We put... On the back of the plate... You can see it right there. Right. Arr, there. If found, please call. Bunny's blocking call. What the, the, you are I blocking am. call. <laughs> <laughs> and then we put a bogus <laughs> phone number because we don't want to put our phone number on YouTube, so that's an old plate. But... Put your cell number on there because oftentimes by the time you realize you left your plate, you're already halfway back to Indiana. And if you dropped in, say, Washington, if you have that on the back of your plate, a lot of dealerships will mail your plate to whatever address you ask them to mail it to. And we haven't really heard of any dealerships charging any transport drivers. Mm -hmm. But even if they charged you 10 or 12 bucks for the mailing, that's a lot cheaper than 50 to 100 bucks. Or even the fact that another transporter finds your plates. Yeah, they can, they can call bring, you. Or they can bring them back to you. Um, I do know that a lot of transport companies, if you do lose your plate and you know it's on its way back, will loan you plates. Yes. Until you get yours back. And give you a couple weeks to get that situated. If not, like I said, could be up to $100. Right, so uh, make sure that you put something on the back of the plate that identifies you. When you de-lease, they don't really reissue those plates to another transporter. They just uh, send them back to the DMV for probably Indiana, and I don't know where they go from there, maybe the scrapyard or something. But when you're checking in the units, especially when you're new, a lot of times drivers want to talk to the person checking in, mostly because they're nervous and they're trying to distract the guy from checking in the unit because they want to get no driver damage and they're very nervous. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Just let the guy do his job. The uh, Because when you're distracting the checking guy or girl, you're not doing your job and you're distracting yourself. So the final thing is when you leave, walk the trailer one more time and make sure your battery's off there, the license plate's off there. Mm -hmm. The last thing you also want is we get it all the time. Whenever we pull into dealerships, the salespeople will talk to us and ask us different questions, but we'll also get customers that'll go, oh, I see you guys, this is how it's done. How do I get into this? And it distractions, distractions, distractions is the leading cause for the license plates being left on the units. Right. So definitely if that happens to you, you just want to tell the people, hey, I just got to do something real quick. Let me get my things off of this trailer and take your final pictures. Yes. And then you're free to speak. Right. I mean, you can do whatever you want. You're not free to speak because Bunny says you're free to speak. <laughs> 
But we're just trying to help you be successful. We're not trying to tell you from mom and dad what you have to do or not do. Right. But like I said, though, the distractions are the number one cause of why some people will leave their license plate or their battery. Of which both of them can be a very costly error. I mean, upwards to $100 on the plates. And we all know it could be way over $100 for a battery depending on where you have to go to get a new one. Exactly. So typically if you're just down the street obviously going back and getting it's the most beneficial but if you're a state away it's just cheaper to buy a new battery and let them keep the battery <laughs> agreed um unless another transporter is there and can bring you back your battery but most likely you're still going to have to buy another battery to transport your next unit and now you're going to have two batteries hey so if one gets stolen if one gets <laughs> stolen yeah <laughs> Lock your stuff up. Yeah. <laughs> Secure your loads. So anyway, we just want to do this quick video. We just did this just for uh, example purposes. Put your don't we don't put our name on there. We just put if found, please call and then the phone number. Um, and then if you get a call after you've left and it's a number you don't recognize, I'd probably answer the phone. <laughs> right. Don't ignore that phone call. Don't, it might be important. It may not be your car's extended <laughs> warranty calling. <laughs> so until next time, uh, we, we just wanted to put this out real quick. So until next time. We'll see you down the road. We'll see you down the road.